Good morning. February 29, an extra day this year. I kind of like this thought. I'm Greg Johnson. Welcome to Hymns by Request. I'm delighted to welcome you to the apartment, to the piano, and just this time to sing. But February 29th, getting an extra day for the world to readjust, for the world to fix a few things so that the timing is right. I can't help but say I like that thought for today, too. And I know in my own life I'm thinking of some things that need to be organized appropriately. Uh, give it a thought. Anyhow, it is still February. I had said last week that I got off, I forgot about, leap year. And thus, this is still the last day of Black History Month. So in honor of that, we're going to begin with Let Every Voice Resound. I, I say that wrong every week. Lift every voice and sing. I may learn it by next year. Lift every voice and sing. It's a great, great song. I'm going to put the music here and put this book here. And I'm just going to turn that a little bit. There we go. All right, here we go. Lift every voice and sing until the beginning song, which is Change My Heart, O God. Change my heart, O God. Make it ever true. Change my heart, O God. May I be like you. You are the potter. I am the clay. Mold me and make me, this is what I pray. Change my heart, O oh God, make it ever true. Change my heart, O oh God, may I be like you, may I be. I do love that song. I hope you enjoy it, and I, I know that many of you do, because you've written to me and shared your thoughts on that song. I appreciate that, as I do any time that you write to me and share just about a hymn that you like, perhaps a hymn we've done, but perhaps a memory that it brought to you, because hymns provide us with some incredibly perfect and wonderful memories. I hope they do for you. I know they do for me. Hymns have, during this 77-year journey, I have always loved hymns. And as I sing certain ones, I remember certain people, I remember certain events, I remember certain services, and I also remember some wonderful, wonderful theology. So we're going to begin this morning with a, a beautiful hymn, and I love the key. It's in, it's in A flat. That's a very warm, rich key. Open my eyes that I may see. And we'll begin with the first verse. Oh. 
Open my eyes that I may see glimpses of truth thou hast for me. Place in my hand the wonderful key that shall unclasp and set me free. Silently now I wait for thee, ready, my God, thy will to see. Open my eyes, will you me? Spirit divine, open my way that I may bring trophies of grace to Christ my King. Echoed in love, thy word shall ring, sweet as the note that angels sing. Silently now I wait for thee, ready, my God, thy will to see. Open my way, in Wonderful, wonderful text. Yes, and that's a warm key, isn't it? Yeah. Keys have different sounds. Some are brighter, some are darker. But this A flat is always a very warm and special, special key. Now, another hymn. This one, I've had three particular requests from different parts of the world you might be interested to know. What a friend we have in Jesus. <laughs> favorites from Prayer Circle, Sweet Hour of Prayer. Oh, people are coming. Uh, so many people. Steve from Australia, you're welcome home. You were in Tokyo last week. You're a man who travels. Actually, you were there for quite a while. And Carmine, it, wonderful to see all of you. This is special. Sweet Hour of Prayer. Oh, oh, oh. 
special song. I, I think of a, a number of very special people who unfortunately are no longer with us, but were very active in the Marble Collegiate Church's prayer circle, and uh, Sweet Hour of Prayer was something they loved so very much, and I do too. Remember I talked to you about how the hymns bring back memories. Well, they were in my heart, and I feel their presence right here. Yes, all those saints above and we below, united in love, united in God. One of my favorites. This is fun. Uh, this is a, a kind of a, an up tune, and we need that now. Trust and obey. We'll start with the chorus and go to the verse. Here we go. Trust and obey, for there's no other way. Trust and obey when we walk with the Lord in the light of his word. What a glory he sheds on the way while we do his good will. He abides with us still and with all who will trust and obey. Here we go. Trust and obey. sit at his feet or we'll walk by his side on the way what we say we will do where we stand us will go never fear only trust and a couple of words, but that's nothing new. I, I've always told you this isn't a concert or, or a performance. Or we'll walk by his side in the way. What he says, we will do. Where he send us, where he sends us, we'll go. Never fear, only trust and obey. Let's sing that one again. Then, I'll get it totally right this time. I love that text. Then in fellowship sweet we will sit at his feet, or we'll walk by his side in the way. What he says we will do, where he sends us so we'll go. Never fear, only trust and Fun to get it right. 
practice, practice, practice. What can I tell you? That's what it's all, all about. It's fun. We do it again and again. I see so many of you joining us this morning. This is absolutely wonderful. Thank you for being with us. And please, always remember that I'm only too happy to do hymns that are favorites of yours. And if I don't know them, I'll try and learn them. That's always fun. Uh, my email is very simple for this program. It's Greg Johnson all small case, at gjp-international.com. Greg Johnson at gjp-international.com. Thank you, and please let me hear from you. Now, for a very special hymn, everyone knows every time I do this, I cannot help but mention two extremely very wonderful friends and persons with whom I've had the pleasure of spending much time, and that is the um, the very, very brilliant Dr. James Forbes and his wife, Betty. This was a song that so often Betty would play and Dr. Forbes and the congregation would sing whenever he was going to preach. Uh, Betty often accompanied him on the piano and accompanied him physically wherever he would go to speak. And I think of them so often and send them much love. Let's sing it together. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Take advantage of this extra day in the year, the 29th, while the world readjusts its clock. It's a good chance for us to readjust some of those things that we'd like to be readjusting. Good things happening right in Lent. Wonderful time to re-examine and ask that prayer. Melt me, mold me, make me. Spirit of the living God. Fall afresh on me. Love it. And now, it wouldn't be this time without this song. God, be with you till we meet again. By his counsel, I uphold you. Jesus, please. 
thank you so much for joining me this morning. It was wonderful to see so many of you from all over the world. And as the week goes on, it just increases and increases because each of you sends it on to other people. And that's what this is about. This is not a performance. It's certainly not a concert of that nature. It's simply the honor and privilege for me of inviting you to come and virtually sit around the piano here in Chelsea in New York and sing some of our old favorite hymns and a chance for us to be get together. No matter where you are, we're together and you are not alone. It's one of our great themes in the world of family caregiving. And as we always say, onward in love and caregiving. Namaste. If you're free tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, it's live. I'm going to be talking about the, uh, the principles of self-care mentally and emotionally for family caregivers. Join us. It's once it's once I do it, it's up as you well know. And then it is transferred by our social media people uh onto Facebook. <laughs> I mean onto YouTube. You can tell how organized I am with that. I'm so grateful to have Donnie's daughter doing our social media. Casey is absolutely marvelous. Thanks for being with us today. God bless. Have a wonderful extra day, the 29th of February, 2024. God bless. Much love. Thank you.